Today, I'm talking about whether or not you can expect to see an extension of the $600 extra unemployment benefits per week provided by the CARES Act. Hello and welcome to Practical Personal Finance. My name is Andrew Shear, and on this channel, I give you the information you need to help you understand and succeed with money. Today, I'm going to get you up to speed on the latest developments with unemployment benefits here in the US, specifically whether or not you can expect to see an extension of the extra $600 per week in unemployment benefits provided by the CARES Act. If you're new here and wanna stay up to date whenever there are any major developments related to unemployment, hit that subscribe button and join the conversation in the comments below. As you're probably already aware, the part of the CARES Act that provides an extra $600 per week unemployment benefit is set to expire at the end of July. That means Americans who are unemployed could stop seeing this weekly benefit in just two weeks or even one week if your state is set up so that the week ends on a Saturday. Depending on your situation, this could mean that you'll see your benefit drop from something like $700 per week down to just $100 per week which is not going to pay the rent, put food on the table, and keep the lights on. Over 1.3 million people in the US filed a new unemployment claim this past week, which is way down from previous weeks, but still twice as high as it ever was during the recession in 2008. It is abundantly clear that an additional economic stimulus is needed to help sustain the economy as we continue to fight the coronavirus. The U.S. Senate will return from recess on Monday, July 20th, and one of the first things they're expected to discuss is additional economic relief options. There have been a number of different proposals put forth for extending the additional weekly benefit. Here are the top four that you should know about. Make sure you stick around until the end to hear which proposal I think will come to pass. The first proposal is to simply extend the additional $600 unemployment benefit through the end of January of 2021. This proposal is part of the HEROES Act passed by the House of Representatives in May. The idea of keeping the extra $600 per week going for six more months is a controversial one. Supporters say it could help jumpstart the economy and prevent financial hardship for those who are most vulnerable. Those who oppose the idea bring up the fact that most recipients of the benefit stand to make more money staying at home unemployed which disincentivizes people to get back to work. That brings me to proposal number two, a return to work bonus. Under this proposal, if someone returns to work, they would get an additional $450 per week for what would probably be three or four weeks. Supporters of this proposal want to incentivize people to go back to their jobs. Those who oppose it are fearful that going back to work now will lead to larger and more deadly spikes in COVID-19 cases. These first two proposals are really on opposite ends of the political spectrum, and I don't expect either of them to really go anywhere. The next two proposals have some more middle ground, and it's likely you'll see them implemented in one form or another. Proposal number three is pretty simple provide unemployment benefits equal to someone's previous wages. This takes away the guesswork involved in trying to find the right amount of additional aid to the unemployed. It keeps someone who is making the minimum wage or close to it from the major benefits of the extra $600 per week. But it also doesn't necessarily provide a huge incentive to go back to work either. Finally, there's proposal number four, providing a variable additional unemployment benefit on a sliding scale. Under this proposal, if you're unemployed, you'll continue to receive the $600 per week benefit until the unemployment rate in your state begins to fall. If the unemployment rate falls by 1% in your state, the additional benefit will drop by $100 per week. So if unemployment in your state was at 10% now, you might get the extra $600 per week. If people start going back to work and unemployment drops to 8%, the benefit would go down to $400 per week. The extra benefit would be there through March of next year if needed. So now the big question, will the extra unemployment benefit get extended? With virus cases surging, I can see some states beginning to roll back their reopening plans and close down certain businesses again. It's already started happening in states like California. 
it's only a matter of time until unemployment rates start to increase again. Therefore, I think it's very likely that we'll see an extension of additional unemployment benefits in some form. My guess is that it will be some combination of proposals three and four that I discussed earlier. It will be tied to your wages prior to being unemployed, but it will also be tied to the unemployment rate somehow to incentivize you to go back to work once things start to reopen. As soon as there's any action in the Senate and a new bill has been signed into law, I'll be back with an update to let you know what to expect. Do you like any of the proposals I mentioned in this video? Or is there another idea you like? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider supporting my channel by becoming a subscriber with notifications turned on. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Shear, and I'll see you next time.